Okay, so I'm going to do a problem or two from uh, Heinz Discrete Structures book. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is page 195, number 4C. So it says, find a grammar. language which is a to the m b to the n such that m and n are in the natural numbers where m is greater than zero. Okay, so because we have a to the m and b to the n that means that the number of a's and the number of b's can be different. They don't have to be the same um, and they both have to be zero or greater. Okay, so, essentially, we can break this into two pieces. Since the a to the m and the b to the n don't have to be the same, we can start out our grammar by just saying s goes to two pieces, the first piece and the second piece. There's no relation between the two pieces. Um, the a to the m part, if we look over here, we have m has to be greater than zero. Okay, so when we think about how do we expand a, well, of course, we can do our standard... Um, expand it into uh, another A, add another A in it. And often we end with lambda. In this case, um, since M has to be greater than zero, we're going to end with A because we're going to say, boy, well, my first step could just be go from the non-terminal capital A into one single little A, but what I don't want to do is be able to end up with lambda. So here's, here's two steps that work for that. And then for the b to the n part, well, there's no restriction on how big n has to be, except that it's a natural number. So n could be 0. So we're just going to say um, the b part goes to little b, big b, a non-terminal followed by a terminal. Or, and in this case, it can be the empty set, so we're just going to say lambda. And that's pretty much it. We've got our grammar.